Agile Manifesto was written in 2001 and brings together the collective wisdom of the people who developed it from their vast experience and thought leadership in the tech industry. If you'd like to find the manifesto, it's easy. Just type in agilemanifesto.org in your search browser. We've made it available for you here in the course readings as well. Let's check it out. The manifesto for agile software development states, we are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others do it. Through this work, we have come to value individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. That is, while there is value in the items on the right, we value the items on the left more. There you have it, the Agile Manifesto and the four values of Agile. It's a short list, but it packs a punch. The Manifesto is saying that it's helpful for every Agile team to think about both sides of each statement during the execution of a project but should find ways to ensure that they're always placing more value and emphasis on the things on the left over the things on the right. From the four values, a set of 12 principles were developed that reinforce the message of the manifesto. These values and principles inform the why, how, and what of agile project management planning and processes. Let's take it from the top. First, the manifesto emphasizes individuals and interactions over processes and tools. At its core, this value stresses people communicating with each other over using lots of processes and tools to force things to happen in a certain way. For example, have you ever emailed someone with a question and ended up in a long back and forth exchange due to simple follow-up questions or clarifications? Chances are that you could have gotten the same information in less time with a brief conversation. Agile wants to ensure that teams work together, collaborate, and help each other achieve the best outcomes they can. Agile also values individual perspectives and creativity. This does not mean that every team is chaotic. The value just means that processes and tools should be used to facilitate and drive good project management and improved collaboration within the team, and should never be used as a barrier to teams working well with each other. The second value emphasizes working software over comprehensive documentation, meaning that teams should prioritize spending time working on things that actually create value and avoid spending any more time than they really need on debating, writing, and reviewing documents. Now this value might seem like it only applies to software projects, but just replace the term working software with whatever your project is trying to deliver. Maybe the project is writing a legal brief, designing an office layout, or preparing a sales presentation. Whatever your project is trying to deliver is the thing that creates value. In other words, it's more important to deliver the product the customer wants than to comprehensively document the process that you used. On to the third value, customer collaboration over contract negotiation. In agile projects, the customer satisfaction is considered the highest priority of building a high quality and valuable product. After all, if it's not valuable to the customer, then there's little point spending time on it. When the manifesto discusses contracts, it refers to the official documents that require sign-off and formal agreement with the customer, such as those huge requirement documents or formal change requests. Agile values having the freedom to collaborate with customers early and often. In doing so, teams can quickly react and adapt to what customers need rather than waiting out the process of negotiating contract terms just to make a few changes or request resources. There will still be contracts with Agile project management, but the focus is on identifying what's really needed and leaving space for collaborative, customer-focused work. Agile teams are encouraged to seek out every opportunity to include the customer or stakeholder during project execution. This could be presenting early prototypes, asking questions, or bringing them in to do some initial product testing. And finally, we have the fourth value, responding to change over following a plan. This last value is crucial to an Agile project. As I explained in the history overview, Agile grew out of a world that was changing so fast that organizations couldn't adapt and struggled to survive. As a result, this value stresses that every Agile team needs to acknowledge that change is inevitable. The larger, longer, and more complex your project is, the more uncertainty there is.
For many projects, finalizing a well-established plan at the beginning of the project will likely lead to an on-time delivery within budget, but may run the risk of not meeting customer needs or adding maximum value. As a project manager, the key takeaway to remember here is that the most successful projects are the ones that are able to smoothly integrate change. Agile project managers still create and value their plans, but they can cope with and are able to adapt if the plans need revising at any time during the project. So there you have it, the four Agile values, individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, and responding to change over following a plan. What's great about Agile is that it gives us these values and also lets us find the right balance between the two sides. You may have to fine tune your project style to meet industry needs, team dynamics, and organizational goals to find the healthy balance that works for you and your team. I've grouped the 12 principles into four themes. These are different from the four values. The four themes of the Agile principles are value delivery, or how do Agile teams deliver highly valuable products to their customers? Business collaboration, or how do Agile teams collaborate with their business partners and stakeholders to create business value to the organization and their users? Team culture, or how does a team create and maintain the right interpersonal and team dynamics to deliver value for the customers and the business? And retrospectives, or how does the project learn to continuously increase performance of an organization and business? As I said, I've grouped each of the 12 principles under these themes so they're easier to learn and remember. Let's dive in. The first theme is value delivery and includes five principles. Take a few seconds to review them. This theme is about delivering the work as quickly as possible. And remember why? so that we can get feedback and mitigate the risk that we spend too much time building the wrong thing. Also, no one gets any value from your work, including your company, until you deliver it. So the longer you take to deliver, the longer you wait to get revenue, and maybe the more time the competition has to get ahead of you. These may look very software-oriented, but if you replace the word software with deliverables or solutions, these can apply to almost any project. For example, deliver working solutions frequently. See? The value theme is also about simplicity. How much time do you think it takes engineers to add all the buttons and features to products that ultimately end up confusing the user? Simplicity allows a team to focus and work on the things that matter the most. An example of this theme in action might be prioritizing getting feedback on a product prototype so you know which features really matter. Or it might mean ensuring the team only works on approved features and doesn't spend time on unnecessary ones. Another example might be reserving 10% of the team's time to work on bug fixing or polishing a process, which should help you go faster in future iterations. The next theme is business collaboration and includes two more principles. Quick note. One of the principles uses the term business people to refer to those involved with things like sales, marketing, customer support, and account management. We'll use the term developers to refer to those who are involved with making and creating products. Okay, so we discussed customer collaboration during the values discussion, and here we are again. Collaborating with your customers helps the team get critical business information immediately, allowing them to adjust and adapt to any new information instantly. No matter if it's realized early or late in the project, customers will get what they want to achieve their business goals. You could achieve collaboration by making sure that business people work near the development team, ideally in the same office or virtual space. If that's not possible, maybe co-locating a day a week, encouraging instant messaging, or blocking off time on your team calendars each day or week to collaborate. The goal is to enable easy access between business people and developers. Another example might be how you handle feedback and changes in priorities. Rather than trying to keep the customer away from developers due to concerns about scope creep, create a weekly huddle where customers and business people can explore feedback and new ideas with the team. 
This could be a great way to discover that one really valuable feature is super easy to build, whereas another feature the users thought would be easy is actually really hard. Our third theme is team dynamics and culture and includes four more principles. Remember, the first Agile value stresses individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Notice that the principles in this theme reflect that value. This theme emphasizes creating an effective team culture that is inclusive, supportive, and empowering. Having an effective team culture is essential to a project's success. These principles really boil down to making sure your team is motivated to do the right thing, feels trusted to do the right thing, has the resources and space to work closely together on their goals, and works at a sustainable pace. An example of emphasizing effective team culture would be to ask the team what kind of equipment they need to do their job, and then giving them those tools. Another manifestation of this theme is letting teams write their own processes and templates, rather than forcing them to use something from headquarters. Teams work best when they feel like their input is valued, so you, as the project manager, should make space for your team to engage and actively contribute to the team culture. You'll build trust and empower them to approach their work in a way that suits them best, which in turn will allow them to work more productively. Finally, the fourth theme is retrospectives and continuous learning. The last principle stands alone in this theme, so I'll read it aloud. At regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective, then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. This one sits on its own because I want to draw attention to how important it is for Agile teams to continuously learn and adapt to what's working and what's not working for them. Teams should always be figuring out better ways to work, and it's really valuable to set this time aside after each iteration to focus entirely on how to improve. In these sessions, the team can step back and consider questions like, how is the team doing? Are the customers happy? Are there processes we could optimize? Are our tools working for us? Are we following the values? Are we accumulating any debt? And by debt, I mean processes or technology that slows us down. We've officially finished discussing the Agile Manifesto. It's amazing to think that these four values and 12 principles are the foundations of so many advances in project management. I'll come back to these values and principles throughout the rest of this course to demonstrate how these connect to the day-to-day -day activities of an Agile project.